The Mine Workers Provident Fund gathered its staff for a day session to communicate its priorities for the coming few years. Dozens came together at the Parktonian in Joburg to find out how to best live out the values of respect, dignity and legacy. Our vision, the picture that we are looking at from here, looking into 2023, is that by the time we get to 2023, we need to be the financial services, a financial service company of choice. We need to be the company that everybody comes and chooses if they want to go and, 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 and appoint a financial services company. Newly appointed CEO Dumisa Hlachwayo kicked things off by highlighting where the fund is and how to make it better. He told staff of the new direction and strategies that will be implemented. There are companies that are out there that are looking to be, to be bought and some of them are looking to be merged with us. Some of them are, need, are needed to be taken over. So we look at those and develop a strategy of mergers and acquisitions and see how we take over those businesses and see how we can take and see we can work together and then we can see how we can, we can move together as one and grow the membership base going forward. It's going to be all hands on deck as the fund aims to reduce the turnaround time on claims. Chief Operations Officer Nathan Williams assured staff that the new mechanisms being implemented are for the good of the company. The CEO has, has actually alluded to this. This is critical and one of the things that he has asked me to do this year is to have screens all over the offices, particularly with one in his office. And he said to me he wants to see the productivity report on there, he wants to see exactly who is doing what. So that's the transparency we're talking about. The target is to pay out claims with relevant documentation within two days, to onboard over 27 new members every day and to deal with 25 unclaimed cases every day. The Business Development Unit is also adding its part by focusing on increasing the client base through wooing new minds. The BD team, they work from June to June. So if you look at now, uh, between now and January, we've already onboarded about people take about 800 new members. That's a new mine, that's Exaro, under, under, under GG. So my guys have been there for three weeks onboarding those members. The CEO touched on, on, on our target, which is 7,000, of which I believe is doable. But all this hinges on making sure the fund remains compliant with all legislation and keeps its customers happy. Whatever we do at Mine Workers Provident Fund should not inhibit a member in trying to exit or in trying to get the services that we promise that we're going to give them. Remember, our services or our promise to members is enshrined in the Pension Funds Act. It's not written, it's law. So one of the things that we wanted to focus on, one of the things that the treating customers fairly say is that when your members want to complain about your service, you should provide a platform for them to complain. The fund currently spends around 78 rand per member per month and wants to leverage more benefit from that amount. Last year we had a fantastic audit thanks to the entire finance and operations and across all departments. We went from having nine significant findings to just one last year. That's good. People are at the heart of the organization and their well-being is incredibly important to management and the executive. Rounding off the presentations, HR head Lungile Solombela reminded staff that the target they have is not pie in the sky. So in other words, we want to increase our productivity um, um, capability by making sure that we incapacitate staff. So not only is it self-study, but some of us have had workshops that we attended, which were organized by finance last year. We became more aware of issues like risk. Uh, there's been a lot of education around, I think some of you may remember, uh, we have had sessions upon sessions, some of them were here, on improving our knowledge of the retirement fund industry, because we want to advance ourselves and be ahead. And I think going back to what Nathan and Jan said earlier on, uh, the differentiator that the members must experience is that we have got the best service in the entire market. It was also a day to bid farewell to the outgoing principal officer as the staff shared messages with her. There was laughter and correction as well as motivation as the MWPF charts a new path toward achieving its targets related to service, understanding, systems and people. 
The Mind Workers Provident Fund. Respect. Dignity. Legacy.